We're out of here, and uh, we never have to come back here again. So we're heading on back to WSEA to give the give the gnarly anglerfish thingy. Oh what yeah, exactly. Sorry. Is that big John fish? Uh, that, looks like that looks like a. Oh, I know this. It, um, not not an anglerfish, but I know what you're Enjoy talking your about. Enjoy your soda. Big mouth, deep sea fish. It, it almost looks like an eel, like like a pelican eel, but I don't think it is. The pel Pelican eels usually have a wider mouth. Let me see what else I find. I'll be right back. So, unfortunately, the Diet Cola isn't going to cut it. However, <laughs> what he doesn't know ain't going to hurt him as we pour the stuff into this Kelsey can we got earlier. Oh. I just love how, like, hurt he was about that just because he handed him the wrong devil damn drink. <laughs> you just don't get it, do you? Anyway, here you go. And he doesn't even know the difference. Well, actually, no, he does because apparently he's actually good. Kelsey I ever had. Thanks. Hooray! Think we should ever tell. Think we should tell him. Sure. Uh, let him let him find out the hard way. <laughs> yeah, through whatever guttural pains will come nope. from drinking diet cola. He shall have to twist. learn the same way I had to learn that one time. We had like this. We had like this college. Just a random thought. We had this one college uh, dorm, like kind of like prank thing that we did, where there was a pitcher of lemonade, and one day we decided to spike the someone. Someone it was not me. I was the only one who I just discovered it one day accidentally. Someone decided to spike the lemonade with laxative. Oh, yeah. I feel no. like it'll take more effort than that. It led to a really weird bitter taste, and I was the only one who could taste the difference of like this lemonade does not taste like it normally should taste. And everyone was like, "What are you talking about?" And then two to three hours later, yeah. Anyway, look at that. Do our little victory repairman dance. So what do we do now? Now to progress the plot, you'll want to go to the newsroom. You could try to go to the control room if you want, but getting in there, some freaky wizard named Marlin came in here one day and cast a. Yeah, no, it's something we've been talking over, but there's been this whole rumor going around that there's this this weather wizard named Marlin who's causing all the really bad weather going on right now. <laughs> Wait, yeah. I'm so, I, I'm, oh my god, I've been talking over a freaking black magic, like, weather, like, wizard arc this whole time? Yes, we have been. I didn't uh, think it's that was pretty, possible. Go ahead. That's fine, it's pretty under, well, hey there. So now it's time for our optional side quest for Chapter 2, where we find Plankton in, in, in here. Hi, Plankton. What are you doing here? I'm trying to film a commercial for the Chum Bucket. I rode all the way out to this hole in the wall. Yeah, I guess I should ask while we're talking to him. Is there a, an incentive or something you get if you do all of the uh, side quests in each uh, chapter? You get tapes. Oh, that's so really the only reason you do these for the video tapes. And even then, they're they only make like this is the only real what I would call dedicated side quests in the whole game. Like in chapter one. Getting the videotape just required you to go to the jewelry store and talk, and, you know, sweet talk the merchant down there. Here is where you, you got to talk to Plankin and help him out with his little commercial. Okay. And then with the chapter threes and four, you, you just find the videotapes on a whim. That's really it. Yeah. Okay. Also, I feel a little sad that I talked over one of my favorite SpongeBob lines where he's. Oh, like, yeah, are you trying to put me like, on? Hey, wait a minute. You got a deal. Yeah. I think, but yeah, Plankton think... at the moment is currently tricking SpongeBob into th thinking that he's actually trying to fill a public service announcement as opposed to a chum bucket commercial. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if it was either you. I, I don't. I think we've mentioned before, but I also know. I think uh, Eager Raptor mentioned at one point that like that there's something What's that what that? <laughs> that there's something like there's something so fun about these guys. I think you're right. <laughs> I agree. All right. Okay. I believe you. But um, I, I there's something so funny about these characters becoming suspicious. Oh, like, actually, there's oh. another. This is something they never touch upon on the show. So, uh, well, they did once, but it was in a later season. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for bringing back some old trauma, there, good buddy. It's like, I think the only episode where they actually touch upon it is the one where, like, Krabs actually uses his daughter to intimidate Plankton because of, you know, the whole whale-eating Plankton thing. Yes. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, now, uh, let's try to reorient the just right... That should do it. Uh, Down here, you invertebrate! <laughs> oh, da there you go. Fine. Just sleep... Right okay, Look at that. That's a face fit for television. Yeah. There it goes. 
This is Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket and all around. Oh, there he goes. Numerous appearances on TV Look at him go. Look at his little daft dance. Headlines we've made in most local newspapers during the past few weeks. Well, I come to you tonight to set things straight once and for all. I'm innocent. What? I would never dream of doing the things those bottom feeding reporters accuse me of. Those pictures were clearly faked. Hmm. Rest assured that the chum bucket uses only the freshest ingredients. That is all. Pure chum, baby. At the chum bucket. Thank you and good evening. Every fuck. I can't. I can't. I'm not gonna do the whole thing. <laughs> That's the. the, the I'm that just kidding. <laughs> Don't go with the chum bucket. It's horrible. Horrible. Just yeah, no, I love that. I, I just love the looking back on those every now and again. Like just something like just doing it all with just a smile on his face. Like that guy has so much Subtext. fun. Well, if oh, okay. Right. Never say that again yeah, like go. that. Especially not in that tone. <laughs> yeah. Low where? Okay, bye, Plankton. Oh yeah, by the way, Plankton, how are you gonna get back up to Bikini Bottom? I don't want to talk about it. I'm I have my way, Square Pants. I'm trying Actually, to think, I think of like probably, numerous. Go ahead. I think he'll probably do what he the same way that he got in here, like hitch the ride back on the bus with us. That's yeah. oh, that's a very good point. Either that, you know, yeah, that's a very good point. Anyway, that, uh, okay, no, that guy looks like a pelican eel. Yeah, this guy, Gary Gulper. So, uh, he's the owner of the WSEA, and he's got a marvelous new invention he'd love to talk to us about. Do sound familiar? Actually, it's funny, too, because I remember, like, his kind being shown in Rock Bottom as well, but in the episode, in general, they're about naked. Yeah, yeah they just kind of walk around going, or something like that. Also, you know, also, this is the same guy that SpongeBob mentioned earlier, like, he must have a brave dentist. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean yeah no. If you were, dude, look at looking at pelican mouths, pelican eels when they have their mouths open, they just terrify. The, the, basically, yeah. Fun fact: if you want to know what probably inspired a lot of like old alien designs, just look up deep sea fish. They get weird, and as somebody described it, uh, just for like a weird eerie thought, we know more about the surface of Mars and the Moon than we do about the surface of, like, deep, deep underwater all of our oceans. Like, we haven't even fully mapped our oceans, like, that far down. Because we can't really go that far down without, you know, really suffering the consequences. We have no idea what else could be down there. But, but anyway, anyway, so so what so do we ha what do we have to do for him in order to learn? Yeah. Well, then what does the station need you for? Well, well, um... You see, uh, uh oh. <laughs> He'll ponder that out later, but um, yeah, no. He was just telling us about his whole weather controlling thingamajig, which will, in his terms, will allow them to control the weather of rock bottom to as they see fit. Well, awesome. Also, yes, I love how but what happened there was I thought they were gonna play it like he had actually like he had actually like come up with a dastardly plan and was just found out, but no, he literally just made this incredible thing, and he's like. Oh no! My oh, job. Oh wait! How about my job? Yeah, exactly. But he's just so gen okay. So we just need to. Well, okay. So here's the thing about it: is that apparently, um, the basically the room where the remember that control room we passed by earlier that's locked behind a spell. Yes. That's where the weather controlling thing of a jig was, and uh, that's why Marlin wanted to dish, dish, like sealed away. Uh, yeah, pretty much. And we'll learn more about that once we actually meet up with Marlin later. But for now, uh, basically what he's saying is that apparently that there is a spot in Rock Bottom that has perfect weather at all times, and he thinks it's a glitch. Hmm. Which is also why that repairman we were t t t uh, talking to earlier, he claims that the like all their machinery is working as it's sh as intended, but Gary Goldberg here doesn't believe that, that hoot and nanny. Well... If I were to do something, I would theorize that if there was if there was indeed the existence of, like you know, spiteful weather magicians, that he would want everywhere but his house to have horrible weather. Correct. Okay. Well, I mean, it was kind of it was kind of hinging on a really ludicrous hypothetical, but assuming the hypothetical is actually correct, well, we gotta. Okay. <laughs> 
I assume he had. I assume he said uh oh again because he again reminded himself of how he just screwed his job out. So, okay, there's the house. Yep, and now we're heading on down to Marlins. Cause you know, Slowly. Marlin fish. Yeah. Uh, SpongeBob, you're not supposed to go out that door. That's the fire alarm. Oh. <laughs> Wow, I didn't know this was a three-story building. How the... It wasn't. <laughs> the whole building's collapsed behind him. Wow, the weather really is clear here. Something's up and I'm gonna find out what. Well, what are you gonna do about it? Oh! Good day. I get a sneaking suspicion that that skull is meant to wave people away. That's a chimney. <laughs> That's yes, a chimney. Yes. Something about the yeah, thank you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> just checking. Yep, still chimney. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Giant so, freaking candle. It's actually called just straight up. Yeah. And a random slot machine, which the game really wants us to investigate. Now, the funny thing about this thing is that um, um, uh, there is a there is a randomized chance that this thing will fail on you. But for, I got it on my first try. Oh wow. So remember wow, those arrows. Right. Left, up, right. Which, which, can, which can also randomize per playthrough. Oh, oh okay. okay. So we got these arrows, left, up, right. But yeah, no, this thing can't... This game can randomly fail on you, but you're just you're supposed to keep fiddling with it until you get it right. And I love, like, on, on my last playthrough before this, uh -huh. when I failed it, SpongeBob literally went the... Just going on a yeah. rage like he did in that one um, cutscene back in Operation Crab Daddy. Yeah, I remember. Right, so it was his yeah. left, uh, up, and then right. Yay, Lost Woods. Do, 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 and lo and behold, Marlin's hideout. And Patrick's what? in here, too. Patrick, he here? I should have known. Hey, You're a wizard, Patrick. I am. And he even has the brave little toad. But I don't want to eat bugs and stick on walls. That's a lizard. Oh. And he even has the brave little toaster rug and everything. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I just noticed the toaster, yeah. He looks a little weird, though, in this version, not gonna lie, but I mean, it's... Anyway. He's seen better days, but, uh, while we're up, while we're here, yes, no, Marlin's up there, and actually, we gotta, you know, get his help to clear out the weather. Sounds like a plan, then. Do, 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 do. Also, pay no mind of the mind games he's about to throw at us. Have at oh. the... Oh! Sword your fish. nose is a lot bigger from this... Your, your nose looked a lot smaller from oh, this no. side. Are you Marlin the Wizard? Huh? If I were, why would I ask you if you were Marlin? Because, my dear Marlin, it would be an excellent tactic to confuse me. Very clever, that. But I'm not Marlin! Also, I love you the freaky are. stellar uh, performance uh, that Marlin so is currently are. giving us. Marlin. Well... I must admit, that does increase the odds of me being Marlin. What like, about that it honestly, it feels like a voice I would have heard in freaking Marlin. Mario's yeah, Missing, of all things. Like yeah. Well, if one of us must be Marlin, I Wouldn't even be surprised if well this guy did voice from Mario's Missing way back when. Hello, Marlin's my around. name is Reznor, and there are four of us, actually. <laughs> yeah. How'd I miss these three? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm losing my mind. So... So yeah, so is he evil or is he a nice guy? Uh, he's good. Oh yeah, no, he's good. It's just that he's very much petty of uh, Gary Gulper's little invention. Oh, so it was them, it was they who tried to be gods first. Essentially. Wait, is he the one controlling the rain machine? Or? No, no, Gary no, is, the yeah. Controlling no. Also, I don't think he's supposed to be doing that. <laughs> so I, I, oh, I he, he's, he's reaching for the bookshelves. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The is continue. My job, but those meddlers are in for a surprise. <gasps> I magically sealed the vault door to the device. How can now you do can that? I'm a magician, oh. after all. Okay. With my magic talisman. That's a key. Absolutely. Magic I talisman. <laughs> For the time being. I'm sorry, I'm still thinking back to freaking. Why are you doing that? I thought it would delight me. Oh. Building that weather controlling thingamajig. Controlling the weather is my I'm the only one who gets to play God around here, young man. 
I'm the one that was keeping. I'm the one that should. Uh, well, yeah. You probably have something better than I did. It's like I'm the one that plays God in this domain. It says so on my business card. I printed forty of them this morning. I can't get them refunded. I lost ten of them in the wash, but the last thirty are still legally binding. I promise. I I swear you. I swear you introduce a public education system. Get rid of the. Thing and this is how they thank me. Yeah. What? They don't even let you in the lobby. Something about you tells me you're pretty good at. But yeah, no. Marlin's telling us that we should just go inside this the room that he uh, enchanted and just go all break all. Pretty much let all hell break loose in there. All right. This will take about three months, but if we could do it for the chum bucket, we could do it for that. Thank you. Show well, up. it's a good thing. That, it's a good thing that three months down in rock bottom is literally the equivalent of three minutes. Oh, we yeah. stole that hey. one from Fairy World. Curse this, you know, deep pressure timing. I'm just, I'm trying to think back to the freaking. It's your problem now. Anyway. So, don't mind me, madam. I'm just about to. Cut, I'm just about to make a wish to that. <laughs> I was tempted, but the game won't <laughs> let you do that. Yeah. Oh, that don't I worry, don't lady. Do that. Just, don't worry, lady. It's just magic. She's like, what? I'm sorry, what? Alakazur, my name is Spongebob. Now open that door. Do it. Close enough. That'll work. So, uh, yeah, here's the insidious weather controlling thingamajig. And, uh, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, as soon as we click that insidious thing, that ends the chapter. Yep. Well, I mean, here we go. Yeah, no, this, this chapter was not too bad. Let's rock it. Patrick. Oh. Do, 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 do. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. He was, he thought it was a game. I I genuinely like the idea of what was happening was Patrick was like, don't worry, don't worry, SpongeBob, oh, I got this. Oh boy. But, uh, Patrick left. And now they've resumed their trip to Neptune's paradise while acting like assholes. Yep. No, not that sound. What's funny is that that's the same, like, sound from, uh, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman when Spongebob's in the bathroom. Marty? Uh-oh. I think we're running out of gas. <laughs> Wait a minute, you... Candy! Candy! Yep, out of gas. Oh, no. There's a gas station down that way across from the diner. That way? That way. Okay. I'm starving. Patrick, I don't... Oh! <laughs> Let's do it again! I didn't see any. Oh, you moron that way oh it is funny how much more presentable that model is when it has its mouth closed like that right yeah also uh, spongebob's about to learn the hard way that yeah he was full of shit that's Oop. funny and say, out of here oh boy i don't think it's ever explained what that thing that stuck out was because it didn't look like the bus driver gum barnacles or, uh, regardless so marty had clearly enough and we're stranded again yep well, not stranded, because we're back in Bikini Bottom. Oh. Yeah, no, uh, hence the name of our next chapter of the game, Back to Square One. <laughs> well, crap. So, uh, see you all next time as we try to get out of Square One again. Man, I hate this game of sorry. Give me an order of fish scallops, it's gonna be a long night. <laughs>